Hello and welcome to this video on the Ukraine war and its economic consequences. Western countries have imposed comprehensive sanctions on Russia. Russia will impose counter sanctions. The big question is whether Russia will stop gas deliveries to the West. That's possible, even though Russia always delivered during the Cold War. In a scenario of a supply stop, in purely mathematical terms, gas supply would last for a few months if the European Union imported more liquefied gas. But then Germany would be left without reserves at the start of the next heating season. That's why the government would have to cut gas consumption early in the event of a Russian supply freeze. This would hit manufacturing in particular, which would have to cut back production. A contraction of the economy would then be likely. But even without a supply freeze, the high price of gas increases a German energy bill by an amount equivalent to one and a quarter percent of GDP. That's a massive outflow of purchasing power. But the consequences for the economy would be limited. For example, private households built up massive savings during the corona crisis, equivalent to more than 10% of their annual income. That is an important buffer against higher gas prices. Regarding the ECB, we expect the central bank to decide at its March 10 meeting to end its net asset purchases as of September. As long as the Russians do not stop gas deliveries, this first step towards normalizing monetary policy will remain in place. The situation would be quite different, however, if gas supplies were stopped. The economy would then shrink and the ECB would postpone the planned normalization of monetary policy until the economy had stabilized. It all comes down to the question of how the Russians react to Western sanctions.